Hello everyone, uh, in today's video I wanted to showcase uh, a new library, uh, Transformer.js. It's not that new, but I just learned about it uh, and I actually use it and it's pretty cool. Uh, in a nutshell, what it does is that inside the browser, you can literally pull in a model, store it in cache, and then straight up use it. So I just want to show you how like uh, we can run a ResNet on like some simple flat vanilla JavaScript uh, HTML app and then start to do like object recognition. Okay, so here we are. That's the app. Like uh, here, if you can see, it says ready because we already um, loaded the model. If we upload an image, let's say this one, it will upload it. And then now the model is going through it and then it will show the image with the bounding box attached to it. We can have another one. It's a tiger, we'll run through it. So the model is running locally. That's that's the cool thing. You download the weight, you jam the image through it. Um, you see, it's a bit, it says it's a cat and there's a bigger cat here. Um, this one sucks a bit, but let's say, let's test the last one. Uh, do you think this is this one? This one has a, a few of them. Okay, there we go. So we have giraffe, 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 bunch of giraffe that shouldn't exist, a zebra and a two zebra here. Um, that, that's cool because like I could have shut off internet and then it will still have worked. Let's jump into the code to see how it's set up. It's pretty easy. Okay, so here we are in the code, like a very, very flat code base. There is basically three files of interest. So you have the HTML file some basic stuff here. Here there's the head of the HTML. If you look here, there's absolutely nothing of interest except the style sheet that I'm gonna go through it in a second. And then over here you have like the main container where stuff are happening. Here this is just where we're, uh, the button to upload the image called file upload. And then here this is the image container which we're populating the image when we're done downloading and then Pasting some some bounding box on. This is a status that we're uh, updating. So whenever you're downloading a model, whenever you're doing a bunch of stuff in the index.js, we're changing stuff. And here, this is where we are loading the script index.js. So the most of the stuff are just happening in this file. Let's look at the style here. This is like the base uh, stuff for just like the positioning of the container. So this part is just for the file upload stuff, just to center like this button. And then over here, this is for the image, still just like a centering thing. And then this is the bounding box. This is actually a bit uh, more important. Um, so this is what we're gonna apply again and again when we're uh, having the bounding box from the ResNet that we're gonna download. Nothing too crazy on the CSS. It's a GS that has most of the stuff. So if you look at the top here, we're downloading like the 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 we're import downloading and importing the library that we need. It's in uh, this uh, um, GitHub uh, account, um, and then we have the pipeline uh, that is the core kind of um, variable in Transformer.js that we're using. So here we're setting some stuff to uh, false, some parameter, because we're using ResNet 50, so we're just downloading. We're not having a local model here in our code base. It's straight up from a, a download, so we're gonna actually download that. Bunch of reference that we need that we're gonna tweak them in the code. So this is just to manipulate the HTML that we have over here. And then here, this is uh, the an actual important part. Here we're loading the model. You didn't see it because I was already run the server. So even if I, even if I do that, um, now it's loading the model. It's ready pretty fast because it's already in cache. So it went through here and then he, he did this. You await pip pipeline. This is a sync. And then uh, we downloaded the object detection task with this model. And there's like tons of model in this, um, in this repository with the weight properly set up um, in ONNX format. You can use like PyTorch model, JAX model, TensorFlow, I think, uh, model. Um, and it's all converted to this one format, which is 
but this thing is downloading. So after that, we set it to the text uh, to ready. So that's that. Um, after that, there's like all of the event listener that we're putting in a function. So this one, um, everything that is a change in uh, the file upload, what we do is we check if the file is uh, is uh, is is there if there's something that was uh, sent. If yes, we program a reader. And here we're assuming that the file will be an image. And then we um, are gonna run this function. Um, and basically what we're doing here is that we're resetting what's in the image, uh, the, the container for the, the image, remember like this thing over here, that thing over here, right? Resetting, resetting it to nothing. And then we uh, create the image element. We put the source of the image as the thing that we've downloaded and then we put it into the image container and then we run detect image and this is the function below which will use the detector that we've set over here so this is actually the model the detect this is a nasync function so it will run kind of in parallel um, so we feed, feed an image and then we're going to change the the, the the text if you look here whenever i'm doing this it goes analyzing should be doing this uh no we didn't do it okay well this one didn't work yeah nah, now it worked i don't know what no way it did that i think it's because it async so it didn't have time to run it it's not running on like a different thread right now like this app this test application is really poorly made on from a front end perspective um anyway so it will run through this <laughs> It will do analyzing or just write it into this uh, and this uh, p um, uh, p tag and then we're gonna do uh, this so we're shooting to the detector the source and then we're gonna give it a bunch of parameter and this parameter depends on what the model is expecting so if you were having like uh, some generative model you will have like the temperature and all this stuff so here we're selling like hey if it's we're 50 percent sure yeah, you can make a prediction. If you're not 50% sure to put it, you can also also put it uh, higher. And then we output the, the percentage so we can actually see it. Um, and then here, console.log.output, this is where we put the output of this thing. So if we go here, and then we inspect, look at the console, you will see here the output. So this was before with like the giraffe and stuff. Here you see, like, it's pretty confident it's a cat. But it's not. Uh, maybe they, they never saw a tiger in the in the training set. But uh, I'm not sure about that. I think it was trained on ImageNet. They should have seen a tiger. Anyway, so we have the output. We put it there, and then for each output, we're doing this thing, which is kind of cosmetic thing. We don't need to do that actually. Like we can just comment this out. Well, we can comment this out, and it will still work. But we're not going to be able to see the bounding box. So here we'll do for each of the output these things which are object with the score and the label and the box you will do render box so you will do this function here right which will take the input and then the input remember it's this object which has score label box and you will do box and it will it will uh, deconstruct the box and the label variable and you will not care about the score in this particular instance and then you will do um, the construct the box with the min, the, ma the max, the min, the y max, y max, y min. And then you will do a bunch of things to define like what color it will take, right, randomly. And then how to set up the, the borders so that it fit kind of well. So this is just like cosmetically thing to draw the thing. And here it will take the style from, um, from these parts over here. Okay, so then once this is done, we're just drawing the stuff that we've created over there. So there's inherently nothing complicated here because the magic happened, um, magic happened here where we're just like downloading a model and then like putting it in the browser and caching it properly. This is cool. And then the other magic stuff that happened is in this function here. So just like calling the detector, right? And that's it. So I think it, it's a it's a pretty simple library and, and concept 
of instead of like sending your information and your image to a server to have it like run a model and then shoot you back like the parameter you flip the idea and you're like well the model is pre-trained this is what how you use it here you go here you here's the model um you use it and do whatever you need to do with it um i like this idea because it's more like depending on the model size if it's we're talking terabyte this doesn't work but like if it's if it's fairly small um fairly well contained well then you shoot the weight to um to the to the client and the client just manage the whole thing so from a like a also a software development perspective it gave us it gave much more flexibility to the front end team to actually do something that is that is good and then it really separate the concern now you don't need to have like front end and back end and all of this stuff you need to make the model make sure it work well and then like host it somewhere that you can download here right and then compact it so that it can be downloaded and once it's downloaded you have the caching and then you have you can you can do the the right stuff that you need to do here without so complicated backend and whatnot um yeah so was pretty excited about this uh, library you should check it out uh, fairly easy to get set up um and that's it so i hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, short tutorial if you have any question do let me know in the comments